You two ready? Amen. They haven't started yet. Friends? How would I know? I've never been to a do-it-yourself. Let us listen to the words which they have chosen to read on this sacred occasion. Amen. Huh? He said sacred. The priest. He's not a priest. He is to me. When our two souls stand up erect and strong, face to face, silent, drawing nigh and nigher, until the lengthening wings break into fire at either curved point, what bitter wrong can the earth do to us that we should not long be here contented? Think, in mounting higher, the angels would press on us and aspire to drop some golden orb of perfect song into our deep, dear silence. Let us stay rather on earth, beloved, where the unfit, contrarious moods of men recoil away and isolate pure spirits and permit a place to stand and love in for a day with darkness and the death hour rounding it. I give you my hand. I give you my love more precious than money. I give you myself before preaching or law. Will you give me yourself? Will you come travel with me? Shall we stick by each other as long as we live? I, Oliver Barrett, take you, Jennifer Cavallari, to be my wedded wife from this day forward. To love and to cherish till death do us part. I, Jennifer Cavallari, take you, Oliver Barrett, as my wedded husband, from this day forward, to love and to cherish till death do us part. By the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, I pronounce you man and wife. So now I'm being kept by a woman. You won't like it. I already do. Oliver, the Shady Lane School is only paying me three thou a year. Why? Because my goddamn name is Mrs. Barrett. Well, couldn't you be Miss Cavallari? If I was Miss Cavallari, I'd be the Queen of Paris. I tell you, it's a great bargain. Oliver, four rooms for eighty-two fifty a month is absolutely impossible this side of Mongolia. Ah, but this is the Mongolian section of Cambridge. than I expected. <laughs> yeah, but it's home. Yeah. Well. Well, what? There's the threshold. Carry me over. Oh, come on. You don't believe in that sort of nonsense, do you? Carry me, and I'll tell you later. You know, we're almost at the top floor. OK, I'll be a young and beautiful divorcee. Hey, what is this, sir? Oh, what is this? I'll tell you after we cross the threshold. <laughs> Okay. This is not a threshold. Well, I see our name by the bell. Look, it's not an official goddamn threshold. Now, upstairs, you preppy. Why are you so heavy? Did you ever think I might be pregnant? Are you? <laughs> Scared you, didn't I? No, I... Don't bullshit me. Well, yeah, for a second I clutched. <laughs> now, is this the official threshold? What do you think, huh? I think if you don't say yes, I'll... Yes! <laughs> <laughs>
the kids. Sleep, thank God. It's siesta time. I've got 45 minutes. That's more than they give me. Damn it. I don't know what's wrong with this engine. You're a Harvard Magna. Not in mechanics. Welcome to the world, Preppy. Listen, Cavallari. The name's Barrett, Barrett. Sometimes you are really a bitch. How are they treating you? Fine, except for the Rittenhouse brat. You know, I swear he'll be breaking an entry before he's ten. Yeah, what now? He tried to pinch me. <sighs> I don't blame him. Yeah, well, next time he does, I'm gonna wallop him. Jesus, no, not until you get his parents' tip. Damn it. <laughs> Let's get the hell out of here. Hey, don't touch me, Oliver. What the hell of a thing to say to your husband? Wash, and you can touch me afterwards. Yeah. Hey, I had another salary hassle today with Miss Ann Miller Whitman. Well, I hope you laid it on thick this time. I told her how very proud I was to be a member of the faculty of the Shady Lane School. Yeah. And I said, you know, Miss Whitman, even Barrett's have to pay their rent. To which she retorted, Ho, ho, ho. Um, define ho, ho, ho. Thirty-five hundred for the year. That's ridiculous. Listen, how would you like to support me while I take the courses necessary to teach in public school? Uh... Would you please say something? Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs>